Hey, good evening, good evening, Cape Flitch stories. Hope you guys are good. Hope it's going good with you. I have a few guests with me in the studio. Um, I, the reason for tonight's broadcast, um, I didn't make a poster, but for you guys listening, um, I want you guys to share this. The reason for this is we want to talk about small businesses, colored businesses, and I have to be specific about that, that are struggling and why it's struggling, the challenges. Who can support or show some mentioning? This is a topic that we always have, but we don't see the seriousness of of supporting small businesses, colored businesses. And I've got three people with me. I believe more will join us um, during this time. You know, I went back to work a couple of weeks back after two years, and I, I, I went to a few shops, and I went to a pick and pay. I went to a, your, your, your normal shops, and some of the buildings closed down. Some of the shops closed down. And that was due to the COVID situation. A lot of people, a lot of businesses had to close down. There wasn't a choice for them to operate because, you know, there was no money coming in. And if there's no money coming in, then how are you going to pay the staff? Hey, good evening, Scarman. Hope you're well. Oh, I hope you're good. And for that reason, I've noticed businesses were easily struggling and they closed down during COVID. And what happened to those people? And there's many businesses like 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 that out there. Those, some of those people started their own businesses. Some of those people are still unemployed. And we need to see how can we support small businesses in order to restart the economy in our community and support our people. So I'm not going to talk a lot. I'm going to give over to these beautiful people that's going to join me. I've got Al May with me in the studio. I've got Emlyn in the studio with me. And then I've got tonight with in the studio is also Sharon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cape Fear hey, Stories. Hey, Thank you. Okay, I don't know. Um, who's gonna start first? I get all my bad bias. I get to say yes to him. Yeah, you're very nice. I'm so Um, okay, so yeah, I'm Almi, Almithra, but everyone calls me Almi, and I have a a magazine called Brown Magazine, right? Mm. I actually started it January this year um, because I saw that I was having difficulty starting up a business and I knew of other businesses as well that were also facing challenges. And I thought, you know, why don't I use my skills as a graphic designer? I've been in publishing for almost two decades. You know, I left... Um, where I worked before, and I thought, you know, I have this knowledge, I have this skill, why don't I put the magazine together and showcase small businesses, you know, specifically colored businesses, um, because I know there is a challenge with within our community, you know, supporting each other, yes. Yes. and because I studied graphic design, we also learn marketing and we learn the psychology of advertising and all these mm -hmm. things. And I understand how marketing and advertising can condition people to mm -hmm. have a certain reflex to go to, you know, your KFC or whatever yeah. is being put out there on social media, on TV, in the papers. And um, I wanted to tell the stories of the business owners and the challenges and you know and their journeys so that it's mm -hmm. not just your your small business in Mitchell's Plain mm -hmm. or Fairways yeah. or Parklands or Kales River, you know. Um it is Almy or Sharon or Emlyn and there's a story and we work hard mm -hmm. for what yeah. we want and there are challenges because I can speak for myself the challenges that I faced is mostly resources and yes. also the mindset. So the resources I'm speaking about is I don't come from a family of people who have run businesses before. So that knowledge is not there. Finding the yeah. knowledge on, on the internet is not going to mm -hmm. help you. It is not pertinent to where we are living and the challenges we face here, you know? And so you mm -hmm. kind of have to trial and error the whole thing 
And I felt that telling the stories, everybody's trial and error is kind of like putting information mm. um, out there, you know, and we can mm. learn from other people's strengths and other people's weaknesses, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I actually started my Brown magazine with Sharon Adams. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, so she's actually part of my journey. And Emblem was in my second edition. Wow. And I form a Lekka network, you know, and we mm -hmm. we support each other and we collaborate. Mm -hmm. And nice. I'm just hoping that all of us will grow. Awesome. I really, yeah. I'm going to come now back to you on something, but I just want to give over to Sharon as well. Um, there's something just that what you said now. We don't come from a background where we have resources, especially funding. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have the idea, I have the business concepts, but I don't necessarily have the funding. And for that reason, I think that is one of our biggest challenges. But we're going to come now to that part. Um, Sharon, yeah. I'm going to give over to you as well. Just tell us more about yourself and then I'll come, come yeah. back to this topic. Yeah. Um, my name is uh, Sharon Adams and I own a, a company called Flavored. And um, I don't know if you're familiar with Cloud Kitchens, but that's basically what I run now. Um, I make food, uh, fresh food, you know. Um, it's it's a mixture of Cape Malay and everything flavoured. Um, because, you know, as a coloured person, you know, I think we our culture is so diverse. And um, I love all types of food. And I come from um, 26 years experience in, in the service industry, ranging from... Mm -hmm the industry, um, the business agencies to from to medical. And then lastly, my last job was engineering. So um, it was a, a, a predominantly uh, pale male, if I can put it like that, pale male um, environment that I found myself in. And, um, you know, you would grow to a certain extent um, I then eventually um, graduated with a BCom business management degree, but I felt like I was struggling against the system and this network of, um, you know, in the apartheid era, unfortunately, I have to bring it up, but it is a reality that as a colored woman, that is, um, you know, I wouldn't say that I'm cheeky or I'm strong willed and I know what I want and I'm going to voice my opinion, and I felt like I had to constantly fight against the system that I was kind of losing against, and I thought, no, this is not for me. I want to be purpose-driven. You know, there's a, there's a purpose why I am put on this planet, and I don't want to fight with pale male, so I decided I am going to open my own food cloud kitchen. Now, I tell you, this started in March 2020. OK, um, and it has been the most challenging experience, both um, not just from a financial point of view, but from a psychological point of view where you'd feel isolated. You know, you go onto social media and you see all these South Africa's um, market stream, if I can put it that way, is very mm -hmm. commercialized and it's it's based on these big franchises that mm -hmm. take over the economy. You know, your your KFCs, your Rockamamas, your freaking mm -hmm. whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult because you don't have that financial backing. It is so difficult to try and infiltrate mm -hmm. um, into the market, you know? And if you don't have your mentors, where I, I, I struggle to find mentors, I struggle to find business mentors in the colored communities, in uh, mm -hmm. you know, and in the colored network to that mm -hmm. that comes together and say, listen, this is this person's potential. How can we mentor this person? I just see pale males around me and I don't know whether I, I'm sorry, this is just my opinion and this is just what I see happening, you know, that they have created this, this network that is so strong, you know, that um, 
the supply chain is so strong that you're like, how am I even going to pen and filtrate <laughs> this mm. this market? You know? um, yeah. flavored is 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 a food business, but my ultimate vision is to open up a aftercare learning center for the vulnerable. Right? Wow. You know mm -hmm. what a challenge that is, an absolute. Mm because I don't even know where to start. First of all, mm. uh, um, private schools are owned majority, and please tell me if I'm wrong, by the white man, okay? Mm -mm. So, and they are not, I don't know if I'm, not, I'm knocking on the wrong doors, but they're not willing to share their networks and the knowledge that they have, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm like, so where are our people, you know? Because we yeah. have educated people. We mm -hmm. have people that are, have been running businesses, you know? Mm -hmm. So where are those people? Why don't, I don't see, I see on Facebook, for example, City of Cape Town, they're going to have a, a meeting um, because they're going to discuss the issues that they have with the baboons and all of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, hello. Okay, I feel for the baboons, but really, yeah. there's an economy yeah. that is crippling in this country. There mm. is a a a a oh, man a network of skills and talents that we mm -hmm. have in our colored communities, in our black communities that are not yeah. being honed. You know, That's and right. you like. You feel mm -hmm. alone. You feel like I can't do this, you know, and yeah. it, it affects your 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 mental state because mm -hmm. you knock on doors. Oh my word! Just as an example, to get a, a certificate of a uh, food acceptability certificate, I have yeah. been waiting for the past months just to get through the the red tape. I am mm -hmm. waiting on the, um, what you call them, to come here and tell me, okay, your, 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 your place is fine, here's your certificate. Months no. I've been waiting. So no. what this in essence mean is that I can't go to markets, you know, because they want that certificate. So That's I can't right. go to markets to sell mm -hmm. and to, 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 you know, to market my brand. This is who I'm at. This is what, I'm, mm -hmm. what I sell. I can't do that because that's the first thing that they ask, you know, mm -hmm. and you're like, how am I actually going to overcome this? Because like yeah. Alma said, you can't find everything on the internet, you know? Yeah. I would do one-on-one -on -one when somebody can just tell me, this is how you go about it. You know, I don't want to hand out. You know? I'm sorry. I, work yeah. hard. I can work hard. I know mm -hmm. how to, you know, to, to, to speak to people and negotiate and whatever. But I just need an opportunity. Somebody just to... Yes to mentor me and say, okay, this is what you do. For an ex a simple example, a business plan. Yeah. I don't know whether I'm looking at, in, at the wrong places, but just mm. to find a decent business plan is going to mm. cost me like one and a half, two grand. Hello? Some Which days, that's, my, that's like, that's my month's uh, yes. income. Mm. So, stuff like that, you know, yeah. to try and Cedar, for example, with a small mm -hmm. enterprise development, you know, is also an issue. You know, everything, yeah. and, you, and you think, how can we as the community come together? Do you know, I live mm -hmm. in Parkland, Bellevue. Mm -hmm. There are so many spaces, yeah. and I'm saying offices and spaces or whatever, that are empty. And I'm saying it's, it's empty because they want... 100,000 or whatever rent for the, but it's just empty. It's just standing there. And I'm saying, why don't we take that space, mm -hmm. yeah. give the small business an opportunity That's to right. rent our kitchen mm -hmm. so that we create income, we create employment, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in and up people, but it's just standing there empty. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because yeah. Greedy. Again, mm -hmm. the franchise mm -hmm. rules, you know, the government, mm -hmm. I don't know, they're too busy doing whatever they're doing, that they are mm -hmm. not enforcing things. 
that will make this economy grow. And, you, and I'm st standing there and I'm like, and I actually, I, yes. I, I'm so frustrated. I don't know how we're going to overcome this. Sharon, the only way you, you, you are so, you've touched on a lot of points there. There is valid about property not being available to us. Business is supposed to be, it should be easy in Cape Town. And that was, that was exactly. the mayor. You can keep the mayor accountable because I was at his first event um, or his first mm -hmm. launch where he said they want to make business easy in Cape Town. They want to make business <laughs> easy in Africa. They want to make business be easy in Africa. So we're going to come back to that now and we're going to deep yeah. just a bit into that. I just want to give Emlyn also an opportunity, but I have made sure. notes of that. You have a very valid point sure. there. Emlyn, over to you. Yeah, well, how's it, guys? Um, thanks, Danny. Thank you very much. Uh, what's up, ladies? Um, so, yeah, Hi, I'm Evelyn. It? I own Brown Pride Clothing, um, a clothing brand that started in 2020, if I'm not mistaken. The brand is two years old now. Um, wow. And, <laughs> you know, I was listening to Almi and, and um, her experience in her field. I was listening to Sharon and her experience. Uh, the funny thing is, when I started this clothing brand, I've got no clothing brand experience. Um, my mm -hmm. my career is um, media and conferencing, um, which I'm still doing today. Uh, so Brown Pride Clothing is the side hustle. Um, I'll just keep it very, very short and sweet. And the reason for me starting Brown Pride was, um, to give you a bit of history, it was in heavy lockdown. I was on social media, various platforms, and specifically Twitter. And there was a... A lot of back and forth about the Kalik communities, um, specifically, mm -hmm. do we have a culture? Um, and that, yeah, that upset me in a in a massive way. I was, I wanted to be very responsive by commenting on it, and I thought, no, nah, if you're going to do that, you're just doing it out of anger. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You're going to be proving them right. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought of starting a clothing brand, and the reason why clothing brand so that people can wear it and express mm -hmm. the, the pride in the mm -hmm. um in the color of the skin uh, the slogan of the of, of the brand is my culture uh, because it yeah. is our culture it's a culture that we should be proud of um if you look at various groups um we we all have our problems um social problems we all have it you know but um it just really upsets me when the color community gets picked on all the time mm -hmm. uh, so that is just a bit of history on on um on Brown Pride, how it started. Uh, I just wanted to touch on something before it slips my mind. Uh, on mm -mm. What tell you. Clearly, you can hear uh, Shadden's frustration. And, and I yeah, with yeah. A lot of those points, mm. you know? um, but I think what we should do, Shadden and Omi, is, you know, accept the struggle that it is for small businesses. We own it, mm. and then we look for that mm. solution and we overcome it. Yeah. Mm. The only reason that mm. we're going to overcome this is if we're going to hold hands. That's the only way. That's right. Um, mm. Correct. But people, mm. people like you, Stanley, that's um, mm. um, offering plat platforms like this, we can just have a very chill conversation about it. Yeah. You know, the, the, the networking aspect um, is so important because that's where you find people that can assist you, you know, um, through their knowledge, through the experience, through their ideas. Uh, because, you know, there, there's a lot of people that, that when they see um, a young colored sister or a young colored brother starting up something and starting to grow, there's a lot of people that wish that, they, they're never going to say to your face, but they wish that you fail. <laughs> you yeah. Know? yeah. Um, but, but there's so many people that are there that are wanting to see individuals grow and expand. Mm -hmm. the ultimate idea. And, you know, I, I know Almey with the various... Um, chats with her and a conversation with Shannon as well is that ultimately we want to grow that big that we can start employing, employing from our community. You know, that's mm. what we want to do. Yes. Um, look, I said I'm going to keep it short and sweet so let me do <laughs> because I can go on for a while. Oh, okay. We, so yeah. <laughs> we're going to come back to, to, to you now again. I just want to introduce Jared as well, Jared Paulson. Good evening, Jared. Hope you're well. Can you hear us? I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly, hey, sir. So, <laughs> tell, just tell us more, yeah. more about yourself. About myself? I live in yeah, Strand, in your, Fontaine. And, uh, in your business? <laughs> okay. In the business, um, 
basically I've got a screen printing business. I do the printing for Brown Pride. Some of his printing, he does the, his, I mean, most of the, all the printing, he does uh, up on the embroidery somewhere else. I don't do that yet. Um, yeah, then I've got a little transport hustle as well. So, um, yeah, just basically started uh, as a side hustle. Then I was retrenched. So, I currently, I'm, to, I'm flipping between the transport and between the printing because it's Business is very limited at the moment, so yeah, that's where I find myself at the moment. Um, yeah, I think um, challenges are when you're not, when you don't have any other income, uh, and you're working without much capital. It's very difficult because mm -hmm. you have to, you can't reinvest in your business. You have to basically just yeah um, use what you make to survive. Yeah. So you're not growing yeah. your business. You just you're just um, going from job to job, and it's not yeah. uh, sustainable. Um, Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and if you have if you have families and guns and stuff, uh, uh, yeah, sometimes you think maybe I must just go back to corporate again and find me a job rather than and, and yeah. that's not where I want to go. I've mm -hmm. devoted more than twenty five years in various yeah. companies, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to make a success of, of being a businessman. That mm -hmm. being said, I don't think I... Being employed, I mean, you, you we, we train to go to school to find some form of education, go and work and mm -hmm. get married, have children and die. <laughs> they never mm -hmm. train us to really run yeah. a business. Um, mm -hmm. True. And to change your mindset from working to running a business is it's vastly different and um, yeah like Sharon said I think mentorship is important um, yeah. sometimes you just you feel lost because you would yeah. you know, say through beer, um, uh, it's yeah. like you're knocking against the wall so um, yeah. you need some sort of support in terms of how do you go about things how do you mock yourself how do you think as a businessman and not as a as a worker it's, uh, yes. stuff like that um, yeah, it's a bit frustrating when you can't really want, I mean, there's lots of stuff. I want to do my own clothing line besides printing for some clients, but, you know, mm -hmm. in the capital, it's not easy, you have to shelve it. Or if you have a setback health-wise, whatever, then you, then you have to just think of survival. So, yeah, that's where my at the moment stand. <laughs> but, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and um, you know, it's like you all are facing the same challenges, the same challenges, the same things. It's like they don't want to open the door for us. They, I have said this on Monday night to Faiz Jacobs, a member of parliament for small businesses, and I've said this also to previous um, people of parliament. I said to him, you can say what you want. The money are never in Cape Town. The ne money are never invested into small pallet businesses. Let's get that straight yes. from the ground. We have been set up to fill. We've been set up, you know, not to to succeed in our businesses. You are never here. When they, whenever they speak about this, and, and unfortunately, I have to say, whenever they speak about black-owned business, it doesn't include it doesn't include us. You are business yeah. yes. people. You can agree with me there. And whenever you say this to them, they say, "Yeah, but you're part of you're South African. You're African." No, it doesn't work like that. You know, see mm -hmm. and see. I had several meetings with him. I know your frustrations. I know. We don't have money. There's, there's aunties that can make liquor donuts, liquor co-sisters, but we don't have money to register our business. We don't have money to open a bank account. We just make it barely just to buy food for tonight. And for that reason, government needs to come to the party. Investors. Yeah. We don't also just need government investors. Your woods, your, um, what's the other places like your Fossili, those people. Give business to our small businesses. Take them on yeah, and exactly. give serious of your companies. Absolutely Why right. is it such a problem for us? I mean, I want to just bring this also in. in we are a lot in Cape Town. We are, they, are they, they depend on us for votes. Why can't they also depend? Why can't we depend on them to invest money in ourselves? So I see Keenan join us. Let me just add Keenan quickly. The floor is open, guys. You are welcome to say whatever you want to yeah. say. I think he's going to need help still. Yeah, so just on, on that point that you raised earlier on, Sandy, so if you look at like um, a department like the DTI, right, so 
part of the arms of the DTI, there is specific funds for small businesses, all right? Um, so whether you're in the food industry, whether you're clothing manufacturing, construction, whatever it is, there are funds that are lying there. There are funds that are available. But the process to get that funds and the chances of you getting that funds are really impossible, you know? Yes. Um, yeah. It is nearly impossible. And to uh, Gerard mentioned it, um, Shadden mentioned it, is the, the mentorship, the, impo the, the, the importance of mentorships. Another thing as well is you said investors. So that's something that, that because I really want to exp expand the brand of Brown Pride. That's the idea. Um, so breaking out from clothing into hair products, into a lot of things. I mean, the business plan is there that I've put together. Um, but for a guy like me, um, for, I have to fund my own business with my own salary, which, you know, I need to get, <laughs> I need to get out of that. You know, it, it, it should be yes. the, the support. I'm not, I'm not selling. Um, and this is the thing, you know, just from, from, from the, 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 the industry that I'm in as Brown Pride, the clothing and manufacturing is that I do not go out and purchase ready-made hoodies, track suits, T-shirts, my things. It's physically going out, uh, picking up. And Gerard has been such a help in this regard as well. Um, getting fabrics, um, dropping it off at, uh, at, at my ladies that, that sew for me, having it collected. So there's a long process. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm. So in order for me to, to expand the business to where I envisage it to be, um, I do need some sort of investment. I can't keep on pumping my salary mm -hmm. into my business because then it's just yeah. a, a cycle that is never ever going to end. Yeah, yeah. I just want to, I just want to give a minute or two to Mr. Keenan. He joined us. Welcome, sir. The man, Mikey Lickester, course. So, guys, you need to support him. Keenan, welcome to Cape Flood Stories. Just more about yourself in your business. Good evening, Stan. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for the platform. Appreciate it. My name is Chef Keenan. I've been a chef for the past 22 years. I started my business, Keenan's Kitchen, in 2017. Um, mostly motivated because I started working for other people and letting other people take credit for my work, especially non-white people, I mean non-colored people, and then just being in a position where I just wasn't happy, working for people and earning a salary which I feel I didn't deserve because I needed a lot more, especially with the time that I put in, in the industry. Yeah. So now in the capacity of a business owner, chef and business owner, I find the challenges being um, lots of things. Firstly, um, you know, getting support. It's a real difficult thing to get support. It's a real difficult thing to get training. It's mm -hmm. a real difficult thing to get sponsorship. Mm -hmm. And I'll go about that mm -hmm. true challenge. For me, one of my biggest challenges now is transportation. Getting mm -hmm. a different vehicle so I can move my food trailer around. I can, mm -hmm. I can be mobile. I've, been, I've had several requests for the last two years. Mm -hmm. To come up to the northern suburbs, unfortunately, with the current vehicle that I have, I'm restricted of where I can go because in my little tears, my humble little tears, I can tow my trailer. I can yeah. put one staff member in. I can put a few cooler boxes and a few equipment, but then I'm, I'm maxed out. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's not ideal. So yeah. for me, it's, it's been a, a real challenge. So I've been restricted to trading just from slump and time because it's a lot easier as far as yeah. mobility is concerned. You know, and it's just more um, cost-effective also driving mm -hmm. around the different areas. I mean, I'm just making an example. King's Kitchen, my friend Warren King. Brilliant chef, mm -hmm. nice guy. He's mobile. He's moving all around. He can mm -hmm. go anywhere yeah. he wants because he's not restricted. Like, his, his vehicle can tow his trailer. His team has their the own transport mm -hmm. and everything. And I would love to be on that capacity where I can say, you know what? This week, guys, I'll be in Balboa. Next week, I'll be in Durban Bowl. Mm -hmm. R3, yes. Sari State. Etc. Mm -hmm. Etc. Etc. It would have broadened the horizon yeah. to a lot of people because not everybody has access to come to Slumberton. Because being That's honest, right. like women would agree, Slumberton is far. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of areas, a lot of people, and the price of petrol is not helping matters either. Exactly. Sure. If it wasn't so for think... my marketing strategy and the way I push my socials, I would be bankrupt. That's that. I'm just being yes. blunt, bluntly honest with you oh. guys. I mean, yes. I got three Instagram accounts, three Facebook accounts. TikTok, mm. two email accounts, and 2,000 yeah. people on my WhatsApp, and I'm doing yeah. it all on my own. I wish yeah. I could employ somebody and say, you know what, bruh, 
This is the content you need to post on a Monday, a Tuesday, and a Wednesday. Don't forget about Thursday, throw back Thursday. But I'm not mm. at that point yet. Yeah. I'm not at yeah. that point at yeah. all. I'm trying to do nice, save money for Bucky. That mm. is the yeah. priority. I need to break mm. free from this because I'm I'm pounded, okay. I'm confined. It. And it's frustrating. Yeah, think, yeah. There's nothing I can do except work hard and try to get yeah. capital because no one's going to help me and put a, 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 a something together and say, yo, Let's go to yeah. Toyota Art and see if Toyota can sponsor you a bucket or, or this or that. No one's helping. That's but, I helping think that's, but I think but I think Kenan, that's also what, what um Stanley was speaking about earlier on, is that um, you know, when 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 we speak support, what we must also think of that it, it's not necessarily always have to be financial support. So, like you mm. made a very, very valid point right now, Kenan. You made it straight. You are you right now are restricted. Mm to Strandfontein, yeah. right? Yeah. You want to go to the north. So you know what support is? Support is is that one of your community, your your social media community, your buddies, your 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 to say, you know what, Keenan, I heard you. You know what? I am willing to offer up my vehicle. I'll tow it myself and take mm -hmm. you through to the northern suburbs. Yeah. That is support. You know what, Keenan, they're yeah. doing something in Cork Bay. Let me help you out, my brother. Let me tow mm -hmm. you. That is support. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't always yeah. have to be financial support. Here's mm -hmm. money. That is support. Yeah. Or even somebody like me, you can say, you know what, Em, this is where I need to go, but the car's not big enough to, to carry my equipment. You know mm -hmm. what? I should be the one to say, you know what, my brother, pack it in my car. I'll follow you through to the event. That is support. Mm -hmm. And right. I think that's what we all need to realize is that it's not always down to the to the rain, to the sense. Monetary. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just helping each other out because for us waking up, for, for let's, I'll use me as an example. So I wake up with Keenan, I drive out 40 minutes to go and drop with your things. I say, yo, hello, when you're done, I'll come and pick you up. Mm -hmm. That means I have a lot to you personally, That's but right. also finan financially, it's going to help you out as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, uh, so yeah, I mean, that is just my five cents that support comes in various ways. You know, mm -hmm. and that's what we, that's what we, we need to start realizing. Yeah. I just, I just want to for one cent. I don't expect <laughs> anyone to give me any money because yeah. I believe in working for your shit. Yeah. God bless me with two able hands. Yeah. God bless me with hands. And, and, and the values installed in me from my parents is if you want something, you can go out and you can work for it and you can earn it. You'll, de yeah. you'll deserve it and you'll appreciate it more mm -hmm. and it will last you longer because you work with it and you know the value of things. Because you bang the veiki, but yo, I've been working for it. Yeah. 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 Like and I think you know, right? and I think like also if people honest, start supporting you. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what? Uh, so I man. wish I could just lam in my kitchen with ingredients and come up with new concepts, new ideas, teaching mm -hmm. my apprentice new stuff, teaching him this, yeah. teaching him that, because the light mm -hmm. is in is passionate, but unfortunately, I can't because mm. I got help and I got a business plan I'm working on. You're a business plan, you have to mm. answer that shit honestly because you have to think as yeah. an investor, yeah. Why would I invest in that business? Yeah. What do they want to see? Yeah, you make a month? how much money do you make a year? What is your Thanks strength? Time. What, are your weaknesses? what is your competition? What is this? What is that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to make time, people. Yeah. Don't yeah. Absolutely. People don't care. People don't give a damn. Kiki, it's at the end of the day, all people want results. And mm. I'm a person, I'm a man of my word, but it's it gets challenging. It gets times where it's Absolutely, just like, oh, how do mm. I motivate myself? Mm. How do I pick my freak yeah. up this morning? Because I don't feel like him. Yeah. I don't yeah. feel like him. I got all these challenges. And mm. you but know, you... sometimes you keep your head above water. Sometimes your body's wet. Some months yeah. the body's wet. Some months mm. the water's only here by your chest. Then you feel like yeah. Other months mm. you just feel oh, it's hard to motivate yourself. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's a difficult thing and people don't know about it. But the thing is, you always have to be. Yeah. Are yeah. you getting yeah. it? Yeah. 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 And it's not always you know the what, case. The, the, you know what, mm. Keenan and, and, and everybody else on the platform, I also think um, that every successful person, right, that we witness. Uh, every successful business that is out there right now, I think that the the at the beginning stages it wasn't easy for anybody, mm -hmm. right? No matter who they are, no matter which brand they are, industry it wasn't easy. And I think yeah. that the one thing that we need to make sure that we do not do is give up 
mm. on the dreams and the passion that we have. Um, okay. There's going to be milestones. There's going to be so many things put a, put in front of us, but it's for us to keep mm -hmm. on going to make it that success. Because you know what? Once we hit that success, it's going to taste so much sweeter because we know That's what cool. we went through. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, before we went live, um, we had this, the three of us had this brief chat and it, uh, it's about us working together as a people. That's very important. Um, it's not to, to knock each other, not to wish bad on it, but it, it, it's for us to work together. And it's about us supporting each other, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of, of you know, flavored, Keenan's Kitchen, Brown Bright Clothing, um, mm -hmm. including Echo Printing, you know, they, like we all need each other somewhere. And why yeah, aren't we yeah. reaching out to say, yo, you know what, homie, home girl, I need your help. You know, I've, I've, Gerard has, has, has been from the get-go of Brown Pride. He was there. I called him on a Sunday. He was at a family function. Gerard, if you're still there. Um, he was at a family function. He's Come like, here. You know what? Come here. Let's meet up next week and let's let's talk. So, like I mentioned to you guys, I was brand new in this industry. I don't, I did, I was still, still learning. I didn't know mm -hmm. anything about clothing manufacturing and I knocked my head with the, with the uh, previous printing company that I had. Mm -hmm. I went through, spoke with Gerard, and he understood that Brown Pride clothing is not just clothing. But there's, mm -hmm. there's a message behind it. There's a, mm -hmm. it's so much more, man, right? Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier on as well, there's a lot that I, that I, to be honest with you, wouldn't have achieved if I didn't have a guy like Gerard in my corner. You know, a guy mm -hmm. like Kira that has his that that has his own brand, Kenan's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. But yet, you still see him blowing up Brown Pride clothing. You know, yeah. Alma reaching yeah. out and saying, "Yo, dude, yeah. I've got Brown Magazine, Brown Pride clothing. Yeah. How do we? Yeah. How can we do this? I'd love to have you yeah. featured." And that's what it's about. You know, that's exactly mm -hmm. what it's about. Mm -hmm. And you are so right. If we don't support one another, like I said previously, nobody's going to support us. I just want to tell you guys, guys the story of Carmen. Carmen is on a, she's following us. Um, I don't know if you guys know Carmen Stevens. So she was the first colored lady to um, go and study um, winery, how to make your own wine. And she's got her own brand. And, oh. and the problem is that I have is that her wine is doing exceptionally well overseas. One of us. And can do good here as well because we are supposed to support her. We are supposed oh. to help her. And I think that is the problem that I want to, uh, the topic that I just want to, subtopic I want to touch on is why isn't our people supporting us? Because when you buy from Keenan uh, a diet, you are enabling him to buy him the bucky. You are enabling yep. him to buy more uh, Absolutely. People, people to work for him. So we need to realize once we start supporting one another, that's the oh. time we grow financially. Um, you know, we have this thing, if somebody, if, if we go to the KFC, we buy something, 200 rands worth of food, it's enough. But when we go to our own people, 200 rands all of a sudden becomes a little bit of food. It's the same yeah. amount of food, but we don't see the quality and we need to respect it. Exactly. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Sharon, how is our people supporting um, on your side? Um, I must admit that it is very challenging. Um, they are, I think, um, probably more, um, they judge, they judge it, uh, can I put it yeah. that way? They're <laughs> very judge it, uh, when, it come, when it comes to, um, they obviously now know that I'm colored. So if I, for example, make a masala steak or whatever, and it's not according to how they like it or whatever, and then they're like, now your masala steak is cuck or whatever the case. Yeah. But meanwhile, they go to fucking, so excuse me, they go to King or they go to KFC, um, you know, and if the food is shit there, sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to say or whatever, but if this food is not selected there, they will take yeah. out the 200, 300 rand, and they will mm -hmm. spend it there. The food is not so liquor, they will still go back. You know what I mean? They yeah. will still go back and still go support that, that franchise. But as a small business owner, they have no mercy. Absolutely yeah. no mercy. And I don't know if it's yeah. a mentality, if it's a mindset, if that is just how our people are, but we need to catch a wake up. You know, yeah. it's like I think, they don't uh, want to see you excel. They don't want to see you excel. Yeah. No, no. I think like so with, with the clothing with with, yeah. with 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 
with the uh, brown pride clothing uh, yeah the support and what i've seen the support there is support in the college community but not enough uh, a lot of people will rather still go for their nike t-shirts and the yeah. the brand names and then then support the local brand um yeah to infiltrate the market it's it's, it's quite tough um it's people that can be leaving this in, in the cause in the purpose in the in the reason for the brand that will support mm. it um so mm. to 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 get people to believe in your brand is is uh yeah it's, it is a challenge but um i think the it might change but this we need to support each other I man the colored people don't support um and um i think also with covid with people starting hassles or well, live right in center um people are undercutting prices and um mm-hmm. yeah they are paying you for the value that you're giving them um, i believe in giving a proper value uh, in mm-hmm. my printing yeah, yeah my wife she's yeah. baking she's got a baking business she's she does immense stuff she bakes amazing stuff but um uh, people still question um yeah. why are you charging so much but if they look at uh, the the elite baking places they will go pay yes so for the rain is nice but when <laughs> But they won't pay the price that she wants to pay uh, charge for. Yeah. And I mean, she gets. She doesn't go to the normal shops. She goes to proper shops where they sell quality ingredients. So, because mm-hmm. she believes in giving a good thing. I think the other thing is there is a lot of businesses like in her instance that they don't even bake from scratch. So they buy flipping sponge cakes and they decorate it and they charge next to nothing. And then the people yeah. look at the different the prices, but they're not looking at the quality yeah. of the of the that's right. of the offering. You're right, G. You're right. You're so, right. I mean, that's what that's what we were talking about earlier, G. You saw so right is that I think it's like we we bloody program, man. So why aren't we? Yeah. If we wanting uh, if we wanting a cake, right? Why are we not running up to to your wife's spot, right? Um, yeah. My son and my wife want something to eat. Ah, I'm going to drive right past Keaton's um, food truck. I see it. Yeah. I'm going to look the other way. I'm going to go to McDonald's. I'm going to go yeah. to KFC. That's it's a mindset thing. Early on. We've it been conditioned. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what Stanley was saying earlier on. And, he, and he's right. You know, it's mm. that it's very, very easy to spend 250 bucks at a, at a, at a takeaways. But Keenan yeah. must just tell me three meals is 200 rand. What? Somebody wow. just what posted the something heck? earlier. Yes, yeah, somebody yeah. just posted something there earlier on about everybody wants a discount. And is whoever yeah. that was yeah. that, up, I mean, that guy is right. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like the moment you're buying from another uh, from from another colored person or another colored business, <laughs> you want that hookup. So where's the discount? Yeah. Where's this? Where's, yeah. It's it's. <laughs> I mean, how do you expect it? And and. Everybody walks around and sings by here together, but then you want to yeah. hustle for a discount from a guy that is trying to exactly. survive and build That's a right. business, you know? Ultimately, mm-hmm. I think I said this earlier on, is that ultimately is that we want to expand individually in our own areas, expand yeah. to a point where we can employ from our own area, you know? So, <laughs> so that you're not driving around your area and complaining about kids standing on the corner, they've got Correct. no direction, there's no passion, there's no... Mm-hmm. So that so we employ them, take them off the street, yeah. let them find something. So that's something that Keenan is involved in as well, and that I've got mm-hmm. immense um, um, respect for, is that in yeah. involving the youth. And Sharon, I think you and I had this conversation at um, yes. the Art Institute about yes. getting the youth involved in in cooking, in mm-hmm. in food, and uh, you know the stories that I've heard is it's like they get excited, you know, yeah, <laughs> they get excited about mm-hmm. learning a new skill. Mm-hmm. So yeah, once again, my five cents. No, I mean, Imran, I've I've seen that excitement in the youth. Yeah, my my son's friends when I'm printing here, yeah, and they see from a plain T-shirt or a plain cloth, and and eventually they said, "George, is that the design that came out of that process?" And yeah, I, yes. I would love to involve. It. I mean, absolutely. That's why I speak to the youth because they know what is what's happening, what's if, what sells, what's um so we need to in- incorporate into, into what's up Sven? into our businesses but um yeah, yeah it's difficult when you just yeah. trying to find a client 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's very yeah. true. That's very yeah. true. But but and, Stan, yeah. Stan yeah. sorry, to break your worthy. Yeah, I, I just want to ask you: Is there a platform? Do we have platforms? <laughs> you know, where where we you can find a mentor, or you can find angel investors, or whatever the case may be, whatever your entrepreneurial requirement is. Do we have platforms like that in Cape Town? Like that. Um, Sharon, just, just to be honest with you, so we had a, what we had is um, a couple of weeks back, we had like a business meeting with small businesses. And I realized that, you know, getting the businesses mm -hmm. together, talking about the challenges and stuff, I realized there isn't something like that for our people. There is, there is maybe schools where you can go to, but we need people that understand us, people that understand our financial difficulty. And for that reason, yes. I've actually realized that we need to start it. We can't yes. wait for anybody mm. else. We need to get this group of people it. together again. Yeah. Have a meeting like we there's this one place here in Stamandan, get together, see how we can support one another, how we can open doors. I think the mentorship is gonna come from us, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah. Um yeah. but there is nothing from government. Look, I've spoken to Sifa, I've spoken to Sida. Do you know how difficult it is to get our people compliant, to get our people funding? Um, they talk all these, yeah. these things. There's 30 billion rand funding available. That funding never reaches our people because our people yeah. are not yes. compliant. Our people don't have money. I mean, an incident that happened a couple of weeks back. People in Gatesville, right? They didn't have permits. So remember, these people don't have money. So they bought, took their last money to buy a few items to sell. Law enforcement came and removed the people. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying it's right or it's wrong. I'm just saying is that Look at where we, we just come from lockdown now. Don't take the people's business away, yeah. but help the people, good. give the people help. temporary yeah. permits, you know. And that's the type that's of things we need to look at. I will keep the yes. my year accountable. You see, it's going to make this the easiest oh. place to do business. And I want you guys also to tell him that he was in his speech. Cape Town will become easier mm. to make business. So we need to keep them accountable. But I think we, me, you, us, and the other people, need to start this mentoring program. That's the only way forward. That's the only way forward. Yes. I, I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. You, you know, it, 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 just to, to come to, to um, something that happened to me very, very recently. So I came across this, um, I'm not going to mention it, there's this market that's going to be happening. It's the first time that it's happening and it's at a beautiful venue. Um, I sent off an email. I said, listen, I'd love to be a part of it. Please send me details in terms of costing, what is expected of me as a vendor, X, Y, and Z. I didn't send mm -hmm. it from the business email address. I sent it from my Gmail account. Um, the lady, my, my uh, mobile number was at the bottom of, of, of the email. She sent me a WhatsApp and then asked if, I could, if she could call me. I said, yeah, let's have a conversation. The moment she heard it was Brown Pride Clothing. She mm -hmm. said, you know what? We actually do not have enough space. What? It was supposed to have been, yes. Uh, I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna name and shame, guys. But she said that they had space for 40 vendors. But unfortunately, now they're sitting with 45, so they can't squeeze any more in. And then what I did was mm -hmm. I did research and through another contact found out that there are two clothing brands that are going to be present at this, this market mm -hmm. thing, right? So do they see me as competition? No, they shouldn't. It's supposed to be helping yeah. out each other. So you yeah, know what right. I would yes. love to do, right? And the reason why I'm mentioning this, you know what I would love to do? I want us and whoever else is on the live listening and sending their, their, their comments through that's involved mm -hmm. in businesses. Sven, um, why don't we do our own? Why don't we start our own market? Why can't There's we one starting like next month. Are we going to be doing that? There's one starting next month. Just listen to me. Yeah. I was supposed to have a meeting this week. Unfortunately, the week the meetings got postponed to next week. I didn't mm. want to say anything in the group until I had all my apples and everything together. I like to have my story straight before I address it to people, especially mm. businesses, because just out of respect, I know everyone is busy, and I respect yeah. everybody's time. So if I'm going to tell you something, it needs to be factual. Mm. It needs to be a date, it needs to be a time, it needs to be this and this and that, it needs to be structured. So where's, where's the market, where's the plan for That's the That's going to be market? in Slamvente. Okay, okay. Okay? Um, yeah. we, we open, we're starting because we're cutful of going there and going here when we have all the resources and all the talent right here. All Absolutely. we need to do is build it up, market up, hype mm. it, 
and oh. then exceed everyone's expectation, blow them out of the flipping water, and yeah. show them mm. what us colored people can do when we mm. come together. We cohesive and we have one vision, and it mm. benefits mm. everyone. No one's gonna be involved in this mm. unless you're gonna benefit from it. That's the whole mm. point of starting mm. a business, right? Is it not to make yes, business? Or is it not to make money and make profit? Mm. Mm. Yes, exactly. Of course, it is. so mm. correct. When yeah. all our ducks are in a row, I'm gonna liaise with you guys as soon as I get my ducks together. I'll liaise and share with you the guys in the group, and I'll tell you exactly yeah. what's going down. It's gonna yeah. be the first one, but it's just gonna be a start. We need to get the ball rolling here. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we're absolutely. projecting for September, yeah. change of season, mm -hmm. weather's a bit more pleasant, people are more likely to come out because you know in Salamanca the weather's either liquor or it's KAK. -K. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't get an in between. Am I right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's realistic. You know the way these in Salamanca is either lick and everybody wants to come out with like, nah, I was smoking, mate, the corny got fun of life. You know? So, so now that yeah, is, yeah. this so is, that is what I was, that is what I was telling Sharon earlier on, um, Keenan, is that. Yes, we do have stumbling blocks. There's a lot of things in our path, but we need to own the problem and then come up with the solutions. Now, this is a solution. You know, having having everybody that's here present at a market like that. So we, we do it ourselves. Let's not rely on other people to do it for us because it's kind of pointless sitting back and moaning, bitching, moaning, bitching, moaning, where we say, you know what? Let's just bloody well do mm -hmm. it ourselves. Yeah. Let's make it. That's the only we have to do it properly because we're only going to get one opportunity at this, and people are going to mm. look at us. You know, is being a colored business owner, you are scrutinized so badly. It's like people are yeah. waiting for you to make a mistake or to mm. fuck up. They are Correct. just looking for something to say. Ah, ah, yellow skeleton, yeah. yellow skeleton, yellow sky. Am I right? True. Am I right? True. You know, it's the facts. I'm preaching to the now. Really? <laughs> That's why this whole thing. No, but we need to. Next, you're right. You're right, Keegan. There's this thing happening next month. Mm. There's um, there's um, Mitchell's playing Good Food and Wine Festival, which is a shit mm. show. I was here the first one. There's this Muhu. There's this clown called Bernard. There's this Muhu <laughs> called Bernard. Right? Yeah. Just listen to me. Who's been harassing me for the last three years? Because I told him, mm. my bro. I'm not a fucking clown to be running around all day. I had to take mm. the stage, take the mic, to tell people to come to my pop-up, this and this mm. and that. It was more music visible for that other muhu fucking Emo Adams. Do I look like I give a fuck about Emo Adams? That's a food and wine festival. Why the fuck are you putting emphasis on this muhu who's got a white bro? I'm a calibra from a calib area. We're supposed to have more calib businesses. You fucking muhu. No. I got the fuck. But I'm going to stick it again this year. But I'm coming with my food trailer. And I'm going to set the bar so fucking high they won't be able to fucking compete with my shit. Fuck yeah. them. Yeah. So watch out for a snake yeah. by the name of Bernard. He's an alcoholic. He's mochis in the... No, no, no. You need you know, to know who the snakes are. They're going to sue us. us. They're going to sue us for I this. I don't sugarcoat shit. They're I don't sue you out on the crack. I pull you out on the crack. Don't treat people yeah. like shit because we colored me. But you yeah. would have treated me differently. Mm -hmm. My skin color was different. I was from a different area. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Don't no, discriminate against me. Don't take me by the gofrit. Mm -hmm. I'm a fucking professional. I don't have time to Mickey Mouse around with you guys. You, I don't have you, time to play. My time right. is my money. My is time right? is yeah. my money, brother. Yes. You're either going to do right? something right or don't fucking do it at all, man. And That's this is the other thing, you know, this is the other thing that I also pick up with these uh, things happening in our communities. It's never our people from our communities, like there's a festival, but it's people from the outside. Let's say we have a festival in Stramontain, but this isn't Stramontain, it's amazing, it's music, but it's amazing. So, so, yeah. so we need to also yeah. look at this. For the community, means it, if it's here, it should be businesses from the community, so we also need to look at that model. Right. How do we get our businesses exposed? It's other yeah. people, it's people mm. from other areas. I mean, you have a competition, a, a, a singing competition, the girl is funny playing here, she's so fun um Cape Town, but she's kinda she, she's coming she comes and sing here. So this is all things yeah. we need to address. Let, yeah. let us speak mm. up for our people, let us have these events mm. and also question people. You know, mm. um guys we don't agree with us, so let us keep them accountable. 
Yeah. No, but yeah. we're going to this. We're going to That's this food and wine show this year. We are going to this food and wine show this year. But this year, I'm not setting up a, a, a pop-up restaurant. I'm coming with the LVD food trailer. They better not be coupling yeah. feelings because I'm coping everyone for liquor fill that he comes. <laughs> 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 and I I out and I and because they, they asked me a couple of years ago and I said I can't be associated with the Mickey Mouse I don't work for Disney World I'm not part of the Disney Channel I'm a serious chef 22 years I work my ass off to where I am today I'm mm -hmm. to be taken seriously my bro I'm not doing this mm -hmm. for Mickey Mouse I'm doing mm -hmm. this for you this isn't for yeah. Spicks and Punchies I don't mm. have this tattooed on my arm for the fun of it because I think it's quiet mm. I'm branded because I believe in my business how are you going to get people yeah. to believe in you if you yeah. don't believe in your own shit? That's yeah. right. So that's, that's, so that's, the, that's, the, that's the reason. That's why I'm all behind this market. So mm. that's what we need to start start doing. And that's what we need to do. We, we, we start our thing in Sunpentine. And that's how we do it. We run our that's own right. show. And then you yeah. run it differently. You know but, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But we need, yeah. To, we need to bring our A game. Eh? We need to bring our A game. We need to bring professionals. Always. We need to bring products. Yeah, always. always. I only Absolutely. have A game. Oh, I don't have a point. B and a C. It's always A. No, I mean, point. listen here. Yeah, we, we all make mistakes. And sometimes we make flopper. Mm. But we fix our flopper. And we, right, we, we own it. Yeah. And we move on. And we do the That's best bad. again. It's a, yeah, and this last month, I got my first two grey hairs in my life, brother. Two grey hairs. No shame. I'm 29 years old. I'm two grey hairs in the last two months, my yeah, lord. No worry. Once I, I, once I stop, they food. don't stop me. I care about my food. I care about what my people think. I, I'm care, I care about my product, my service, my brand, everything. I am a brand. Yes. Why are you saying about this? I give a fuck. I get it. I wake up at night and I'm like, yo, my bro. How was it Ruti? No. Was it liquor? Oh, did mm -hmm. I have yeah. only money to it? It's mm -hmm. a Ruti, but yeah. I'm gonna make the best fucking Ruti that I can. Because mm -hmm. anybody yeah. else yeah. can make Ruti also, no, do you understand? Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's yeah. what it is, man. Guys, we spoke a lot, but there's still a few minutes left. Let me know what's in your mind. Like I say, there is people, business people, that always watch this um podcast. So what is it that you guys want to change? What is it that needs to change to accommodate us, to help us? We need to change the mindset of the people around us and within our areas and within our communities and make them aware mm -hmm. of, you know what, there are people within your community with the skill sets, with the services. You don't need to outsource it or go for big corporates or this and this and that and franchises. Mm -hmm. Just give a local bra a chance. Mm -hmm. Just give them one chance. Mm -hmm. All we are asking for, just give them one opportunity to showcase what they can do, the amount of professionalism yeah, that no. they can bring. And how amazing the yeah. services are and the products are. That's all just one chance. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. all we ask for. We That's want to ask for people more yeah. than that. That is yeah. fair. Yeah. And you know what, Keenan, to follow up with what you did, so uh, with, with what you just said now, so what I've done is Brown Pride Clothing is a registered company, right? Registered BE certificates, the works, because part of the yeah. business is going into um, supplying or wanting to um Go into the corporate world and supply the, the leisure wear for, for corporates, right? After looking at the market. Um, mm. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. and But the door permanently gets shut in your face, brother. Mm. And the door doesn't get mm. shut by the, uh, in your face by who we think it would be. Um, the white CEO sitting on top. No, it, it, the door shut by our own people. is like, nope. Mm. We're rather utilizing whatever mm. chain that there is. And it's like, do you yeah. know how much hard work goes into doing what I do? Mm. You know, <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. And it's just... Yeah. How many pies have I played? Museum of Beach? We set up yeah. at... Yes. Salad brew with a puro was stand. You call them yes. up. We set up yeah. opposite my kids. What chief for 21 different branches in the Western Cape? Oh, I don't know what y'all are on about. I'm not called the police. You need to. Yeah. The I'm like, ah. yeah. Ah. Yeah. All yeah. All. Yeah. All. Yeah. Okay. And as I hope yeah, it's, 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 it's a color price, he's been selling Buddha for 20 years. He don't even move yeah. his trailer. That's what I'm saying. He's on the corner. The whole That's what was sorry for my language. You call them a poozo on me, bro. <laughs> 2,000 and any fines, but you know what? They don't give us more fines. We're not stopping. They just give us more gears to cup. Ah, you call me a poozo. What's that? It's big. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a man. He knows that people. I said, yeah, it's just the opportunity we want, man. I, my wife makes mouth for the people right from from the northern uh, district to come to Stramont and to come buy a mouth. I went to Alkais here. They wouldn't even hear about local local providers, local suppliers. Um, mm. So we just want the opportunity man, to... to yeah. To show yeah. what we can do. It's all. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Obviously, we need money, but besides the money, we need opportunity. We can always smoke yeah. all coming together if we need to. Yes. Just to get yeah, to, prof- to show them what we can do. Um, yeah. 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 We need to, you know, we need to build, you know, that, yeah, they, they, me. build that foundation. That's what we need is that foundation. And yeah. once the foundation yeah. is set solidly, that's how we can grow. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so mm-hmm. all so, our, all our, I mean, each and every one of us bitched and moaned about something. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think once we overcome that and, and c- collectively we, we build that solid foundation for us as small business owners, small colored business owners, and that mm-hmm. is yeah. eventually where, you know, the, the profit is always what we want. That's why we start the businesses to make money, mm-hmm. but that will eventually come. You know, it's, yes. it's, yeah. let, let's get that foundation sorted first. And we can mm-hmm. only do it together. Yeah. Exactly. Right? If Keenan's burning, okay. if Keenan is setting his foundation, who am I to want to come and destroy his foundation? Yes. No, then I'm not a bra. Then I'm useless. Yeah. I need to be out of the picture. Yes. What Keenan should yeah. be doing is cutting me out completely. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and the people that, yeah. that, that want to yeah. knock you and destroy your destroy what you're building. Funny enough, guys, it's the people that's closest to you. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, true. <laughs> so you, you <laughs> always need to be careful who we allow into, into our space and into our circle. circle. Am I right, Keenan? Yeah. yeah, am I right? Yeah. We need to be very, very careful who we allow in. Uh, allow in Definitely. Here because yeah. not everybody wants to see That's why I'm not associated or affiliated with any non-profit organizations at the moment. Mm-hmm. I'm not yeah. affiliated or associated with them in any means or way. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Money yeah. changes people, my bro. Tenders yep. changes people. Mm-hmm. Don't want to oh. call Jesus for when you are feel cut behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. True, true. <laughs> but, but also, Chevalet. what we should do is, you know, go to Edgis and say, Edgis, why don't they have brown pride t-shirts here? Why don't they have brown pride? We need to start demanding. So that they can yeah, but they got brown, they got colored yeah. ambassadors from Slumberton. I don't know why they're not stocking brown pride they clothing should, there. They should have our people there. You know, wherever we go, we should ask. You know, um, I interviewed um, Carmen Stevens a couple of weeks back, and um, yeah. I went to a few places and I asked, "Do you guys have Carmen Stevens brand here?" And they said, "No, local brands." Yeah. And I told my friends, "You look, if we're gonna support our own people, we need to start requesting." And if they don't have them, we buy nothing mm-hmm. from them. That is also mm-hmm. a way of demanding. That's why Thomas mm-hmm. Stevens wine in um, 20, 2019. Ah, mm. Wine is nice. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, common makes nice. I love wine. Like, yeah. I'm a wine connoisseur. I go fun. But common <laughs> makes a really good wine. I don't know what yeah. the range is now, but I think then she had like three or four wines, including yeah. a rosé. Mm-hmm. Wanted to collab with her much of it. She, I mean, she loves Freak for and Sramanta is far from everyone. Sramanta is like overseas. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pack patkos and an extra petal when you go to Sramanta. Take a spare tire. Anything else from you ladies, from the gentlemen? Do you guys want to add? Say? Yeah, no, I, I just think, um, you know, I, I, what, what I'm taking from this whole um, meeting that we've had or interview that we've had is it's really important that we, you know, we come together um, mm. as, the, as our brown entrepreneurs, you know, mm. because we understand mm. uh, the challenges that we face. And um, like Emlyn said, instead of just moaning about it, you know, we come together mm-hmm. And um, we pull the forces and we make it happen, you know, and mm-hmm. we bring the quality. We, we've got the skill. We bring the quality. We, we bring the business mindset 
um, collectively together, then, you know, then these big franchises and these corporations, they are going to be forced or, or they're going to have to notice us, you know, because now, because we're like a one-man band and we're kind of like on our own thing, doing our own thing, you know, there's, there's no power in the numbers, but if we can come together um, and, you know, clock the numbers, then they're going to have to start taking note of us, you know, and then we can start, like um, Stan said, that we have to hold them accountable and oh. ask the difficult questions. Why yeah. is Brown Pride not yeah. in the Edgars and the Foschinis and whatever? Why is mm -hmm. Keenan's beautiful fat cook not at whatever he wants to do with it? You know, um, why is flavored Kusistas um, not getting the exposure that it that it needs? But we need to hold them accountable. Why mm -hmm. is Brown Magazine not on all the other big? digital platforms, you know, but if we are not going to come together and stand yeah. as one and have one voice, then they're not going to take notice of us, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, collectively, yeah. it's it's important that we, yes, we, 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 I believe that we can moan and all of that, but we mm -hmm. also have to then, there's power in our voices and we need That's to right. make them hear it, you know? They cannot yeah. ignore us. They've ignored us yeah. for, for, for decades and whatever. But now is the time that we have to, because we have kids, you know, we have the, the youth, the future leaders of these countries that, that, that's looking at us, you know, in, in our colored communities, mm -hmm. that's looking at us and saying, okay, I suppose this is much just how it is, you know, yeah. because like Emlyn said, like Gerard said, We've just been exposed to a nine to five type job, and that's mm. all we know. Yeah, they don't see yeah. the brown face entrepreneurs that are yeah. successful, you yeah. know. Yeah. So we've got to rise up and we've got to say, Enough is genoeg, is ga bloody nog, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I believe, I believe that we, we yeah. need to be the mentors for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah. Sorry Sorry, Sharon. I, no, no, I was no. just going to say we need to be the mentors that we mm. don't right. have, that we didn't yeah. have. We yeah. are pioneers. We need to pave this path. We need to, you know, pave open the path. Our, yes. yes, we need to walk this mm. new path yeah. and, you know, bring people with us along the way, um, get connected and stay connected and mm. support, yeah. mm. you know, um, use each other's yeah. platforms. I mean, Keenan was talking about the, the skills. Yeah. yeah. Keenan yeah, was talking sure. about the skills exactly. we have in this community. You know, Inkululeku yeah. printing started from me that I didn't, I didn't know anything about printing. I was supposed to be shown by somebody else and then he, he couldn't. So I sat with this stuff here. I got a guy from, from Portland who knows printing. So he's the mm -hmm. printer. I just facilitate the business and help him. I'm his boy here in the business. I don't make any printing. Yeah. To buy he's any. got the skill. But what I'm saying is, yeah. I, he's got the skill. His cousin is yeah. a designer. He's, yeah. um, he's another guy that's good with engineering and stuff, so he can make the stuff that we need. So collectively, we... Inkululeko Printing can, can, can provide a service. Um, it's from skills yeah. within this community. Yeah. There's lots yeah. here. I mean, people have been yeah. taking advantage of for years. Exactly. I think me included. So I I don't see why All we can't it. just do it. That's just more. Um, yeah. If we can con come together as businesses, the way though we came together individually for this business, we, business can come together and then make something happen. We have to make it happen. Yeah, and I believe it will happen. It will happen. Yeah. For sure. Well, it's in my pipeline, at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alisa says something here yeah, that, that you just, guys just mentioned. is power in collaboration. As yeah. entrepreneurs, yeah. we should, shouldn't be afraid to work with others. I think it brings yeah, us back can. to what we said earlier on. We need to 
I must see you guys be successful, become successful, and likewise, there must be like you know, if you're gonna overtake me, then then there's nothing for me. There's enough for us all to eat from the pie, and we need to like that that mentality. You know, Um, we can work together, and we should work together. Um, Yeah. If we make a noise, if we all make a noise, if there's more of us, see, there's thousands more of us. Overnight, things will look better in our community. But it depends on us Mm -hmm. and those in our community. Let's support us. It's very simple. Instead of buying in Cape Town something, let's go to Brown Pride. Let's go to Brown Magazine. Yeah. Let's go to Keenan. Let's go to Sarah. Let's go to Ger- um, Gerard and myself and support these people. And that's the only yeah. way yeah. we need to realize we need to just shift our minds quickly. Shift the, mind, the mindset. Just shift it. Just shift it. Yeah, quickly. that's it. Yeah. I also just want to throw my five cents in before we, before mm-hmm. we shut down is that um, yeah. point number one is, is that um, for the people that are on the platform and the people that are commenting on the live, let's support each other as businesses first, right? Mm-hmm. And then yeah. also the, yeah. the, the support in supporting a business from purchasing from the business. But let's mm-hmm. lean on each other. Mm-hmm. You know, even if there's business owners mm-hmm. that are that's watching this live right now um, and they need some sort of support, I believe that anybody, everybody that's here right now Mm. We we are we are here to support. You know what I'm saying. Even if it's yes. this advice, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, that's that's my five cents. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what yeah. I want you to do is to come back for me. Some people want to want your business details in here. So just if you have time, just post it in here. Keenan's kitchen details, Saturn, whoever, Alma, how people can get hold of you. Sure. And then we'll just leave sure. it there because this is still this is still going to trend. People are still going to watch it later on. And let's hope that yeah. somebody sees some things and, and, and people start speaking up for us and people sp- start supporting us. But thank you so much. I am my brothers and sisters, keep. I don't know about you, but even though I don't know you, you, you look like me, you grew up like me, I need to support mm, you yeah. and you need to support me. Later. Thank you, Stan. Thank you uh, for the opportunity. Thank you, nice. thank you so much. Thank you so much, you and I, everybody. Keep well, this yes, weekend, everybody. Good. God bless, and I hope everyone has a prosperous weekend and a um, feel prosperous 2022 rest of the year. Yeah, short man. Cheers, Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. That was a few business owners from the colored community. Um, we are in this little group, and I've, I've seen what they do, and I, and I actually like to promote our people. We all have challenges, you know. We can't speak for each other. We have to speak for ourselves. And for that reason, I had them on here tonight to tell their story. Each body, everyone's story is different, but when it comes to our businesses, it's more, more or less the same because we don't support one another. There's no funding. There's no that. There's no this. And we need to look at how can we support one another. Um, you know, if you guys are going to buy food tomorrow and you know where Keenan is, go and support Keenan. If you guys want the magazine um, Elma has got the own magazine. If you you know it's free, go and look at the magazine, read it. Positive stories. Um, Saturn is also there, and it's also clothing like um, what's his name? Like Brown Brown Pride. I actually want to get me a brown. I should wear Brown Pride. I should wear it. Um, so I must wear it on this platform. So I need to speak to them. How can I get the products? Because I need to support and I need to promote my brothers and sisters. We need to become ambassadors for one another, you know, as colored people. And I'm not saying this out of any racial um, t- tendencies. So I'm just saying that we need to look out for one another. We need to support one another. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Please do like this broadcast. Please do share it. We always preach about these type of things, but it means nothing if you guys don't support it. It means nothing if you guys don't get involved with it. It's our people. It's our means, sir. And it's our duty to support our men and ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, hope you guys are good and have an awesome, awesome evening. I'm just going to post some of the details here before I go. Um, they posted it here now. I'm going to put it in here. Let me just paste it here. There we go. Um, okay, what is it? let's do that quickly. I just want to share the, the, the business details they asked me to do so. Uh, where's the private chat? There we go. Copy that. All right, let me go in here. Um, there we go. That is that one there. Say there. And I'm going to say the other one quickly as well. Then I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. This is Brown Magazine. Guys, you want to go and read this magazine. It's a brilliant magazine. 
It's about our people. You know, our people are doing it for themselves. And we need to support them. We need to get this magazine. If we buy the Kayer magazine, all those magazines which belongs to big brands, let's also to support this brand that is free. It's a free magazine. Um, you guys can get onto the platform if you want to advertise your business, do support it. El May is a brilliant um, um, graphics designer. The graphics on the magazines look amazing. So yeah, that's my story, guys and girls. Have an awesome evening. Take care of yourself and God bless. Cheers.